Have you ever wondered how to open up to love again after a heartbreak? It's an age-old question, one that's been asked by countless souls across time and space. Heartbreak, as painful as it may be, is a universal human experience. It's a journey that takes us to the depths of despair, but also to the heights of self-discovery. It's an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to heal. It's a part of our story, one that shapes us into who we are. So how do we move on? How do we open our hearts again to the possibility of love? Join us as we navigate through the 10 ways to let go and open up to love again. Firstly, acknowledge the pain. Heartbreak hurts and it's okay to admit that. It's like a wave that crashes over you, threatening to pull you under. But remember, you're not alone. Everyone has experienced this ache at some point. It's important to let yourself feel it, to let yourself grieve. Suppressing these feelings can only prolong the healing process. It's not easy, it never is. But it's a part of the journey, a crucial part of moving forward. Remember, it's okay to feel the pain. It's the first step to healing. Secondly, embrace change. Change is a part of life, and it's inevitable. It's like the seasons that come and go, each one bringing something new and different. It's the way of the world, the rhythm of life. And just as we can't stop the seasons from changing, we can't stop change from happening in our lives. But here's the thing about change, it's not always bad. Sure, it can be tough, especially when it's unexpected or unwanted. But change can also lead to growth, to new opportunities, to new beginnings. It can push us out of our comfort zones, challenge us, and help us to see things in a new light. So instead of resisting change, let's try to accept it. Let's try to see it not as something to be feared, but as something to be embraced. Because when we embrace change, we open ourselves up to the possibility of something better, something brighter. Remember, every ending is just the start of a new beginning. Every closed door is the opening of another one. So don't be afraid of change. Embrace it, welcome it, because it's through change that we grow, that we evolve, and that we become the best versions of ourselves. Embrace change, for it paves the way to new beginnings. Thirdly, practice forgiveness. This includes forgiving yourself and others. It's like carrying a heavy backpack up a mountain. The more resentment you hold, the heavier your journey becomes. But here's the thing, that weight, it's not holding anyone back but you. Forgiveness, it's not about condoning the actions of others nor forgetting the hurt. It's about releasing the burden of bitterness, that constant replay of the past. It's about choosing peace over the corrosive power of resentment. And let's not forget about forgiving ourselves. We all make mistakes. We all have regrets. But dwelling on them doesn't change the past. It only steals joy from the present. Forgive yourself, not because you deserve forgiveness, but because you deserve peace. So take off that heavy backpack. Let the resentment fall away. Choose forgiveness. Choose peace. Because in the end, forgiveness isn't something we do for others. It's a gift we give to ourselves. Forgiveness is a gift you give to yourself. Fourthly, let go of expectations. Expectations can often lead to disappointments. Now, this doesn't mean we should abandon all our hopes and dreams. Rather, it's about understanding that life doesn't always follow the script we've written in our minds. And that's perfectly okay. Imagine you're using a map to navigate a city. Maybe you've always used Google Maps, but one day you unexpectedly find yourself relying on Apple Maps. At first, you might resist. You might feel lost or even frustrated. But as you continue to navigate, you might find that Apple Maps has its own unique features and advantages. Similarly, when it comes to love and relationships, we need to be open to different routes, to different maps. We need to let go of rigid expectations and embrace the unexpected turns, the detours, the new streets we never thought we'd explore. So the next time you find yourself clinging to a particular outcome or a specific timeline, remind yourself that there's beauty in the unexpected. There's growth in the detours. There's wisdom in the surprises. Remember, life is full of surprises when you let go of expectations. Fifthly, be open to new possibilities. Love can come in unexpected ways. Just as we never expected the iPhone to revolutionize our world when it first found its way into our hands, similarly, love can surprise us in ways we never imagined. It's about being open to the unexpected. It's about embracing the unknown. It's about not being stuck in the past, but rather moving forward and looking ahead. We all have a past. We all have stories that have shaped us. But remember, 
The past is a place of reference, not a place of residence. It's important to learn from our past, but we should not let it dictate our future. Just as Apple Maps improved over time, despite the initial criticism it faced, we too can improve and grow. We can learn from our mistakes, we can heal, and we can find love again. We can't predict the future, but we can be open to it. We can be open to the endless possibilities that life has to offer. So don't be afraid to take chances, to try new things, to step out of your comfort zone. Open your heart and mind to the endless possibilities that life has to offer. Sixthly, love yourself first. You are your longest commitment. It's essential to understand that self-love isn't about being selfish or egocentric. It's about acknowledging your worth and giving yourself the same compassion that you extend to others. When you genuinely love yourself, you set the benchmark for how others should treat you. You learn to set boundaries and respect your own needs, desires, and feelings. It's about understanding that you are enough, just as you are, and that you deserve love, both from yourself and others. So value yourself, nurture your spirit, and celebrate your uniqueness. It's only when you truly love and accept yourself that you can fully open up to receive love from others. Remember, to love others, you must first love yourself. Lastly, remember that moving on is a process and it takes time. Be patient with yourself. You've embarked on a journey that's as challenging as it is rewarding. You've been brave enough to acknowledge the pain, to embrace change, to practice forgiveness, and to let go of expectations. You've made a conscious choice to be open to new possibilities and to prioritize loving yourself first. You've chosen to open your heart to love again. Now remember, there's no strict timeline for this process. There's no rush. There will be bumps along the way. There will be moments of doubt. But know that in time, you'll reach your destination. In the meantime, be gentle with yourself. Give yourself the grace and the space to heal, to grow, to learn. And remember, you're not alone. We're here, ready to support you every step of the way with wisdom, insights, and resources to guide you. So let's walk this path together. Let's continue this journey of self-discovery, healing, and love. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to Superior Wisdom for more content like this.